everyone, what's up? My name is Jessica Whitaker and I'm a Seattle-based photographer. Today's video has been so highly requested, it is all about my photography gear. So I do wanna say I am shooting on a different camera though. So the camera body that I show you is what I've been using the past year and all of my videos. I am using the Mark IV right now to record this, but it's so new, it's so fresh, so I'm just showing you my Mark II because that's what you guys have been used to. So before we get started, be sure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel, that you're following me over at Instagram, at Jessica Whitaker for even more updates about photography and a behind the scenes look at my life. Okay, so the first thing obviously it would be my camera body. This is the Canon 5D Mark II. I got it in 2010 and I just recently this past month upgraded to my Mark IV. So this is though is the camera that you guys have been seeing on my channel. So obviously I'm gonna feature this. It has um, a battery grip on it, which is not the Canon brand. This is from like some Amazon store. It was $30. I can have it linked down below if you're interested, uh, if you wanna know where I got it. I'm still waiting for them to come out with an off brand for the Mark IV, but yeah. So this is my camera body. Um, the strap, just nothing too exciting, but a lot of memories. We've gone everywhere together from Alaska, Philadelphia, New York City, Los Angeles, uh, San Francisco, Georgia. We, we, we have seen it all. So uh, that's that is my camera body. Now my lens that I'm shooting on with now is my Sigma 35 1.4 Art, but it's attached to my Mark IV and so I cannot show you that, but I recently purchased that. So I've been shooting on my 35 for just a couple of months, but my favorite lens of all time would be my 50 millimeter 1.4 from Canon. Oh my gosh, this is probably as old as, yeah, this is six years old too, and I love it so much. Um, we've been through everything together and I shoot most of my portraits on this. I travel with this guy, it's super light, super easy to carry around and travel with and so these two just go together so perfectly. Now I do have another lens which I always seem to forget about and a lot of people are going to cringe when I say I forget about this but it's my 24 to 105 millimeter. Um, I don't use this too much. It <laughs> This is terrible, but it really, I don't use it that much. It sits in my drawer most of the time. I'll bring it if I'm traveling. It's really good for travel. Uh, not the, it's really heavy, but it's good because it's a wide angle. I use this on the Brooklyn Bridge, on the Golden Gate Bridge. That's basically the only time I'll use it is when I'm out and I know that I'm gonna be somewhere where I need a wider angle. I definitely will be taking this with me to Europe though, um, but it is really, really heavy. But I do have this lens, the 24 105. I feel bad that I don't use it as much as I should. Ugh, but that's the lens I have, and I actually only have three lenses. I would love to add an 85, and I would love to add a 135 to my collection soon. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about backup drives. I have so many um, <laughs> external hard drives. This actually is one of my, I obviously haven't used it all. I'm gonna use this when I go to New York City in November. Um, not too exciting. It's just a four terabyte from Seagate. Now, I really love Seagate. I've used Western Digital, the WD drives. Those are great too. I have another little travel size one of that um, that I used a couple of years ago. But recently, I really love Seagate. I have two big external drives from them that sit on my desk, but I just wanted something really little. And so I would definitely recommend Seagate. They have a good backup plan and a cloud that you can store it on. I don't have any photos on my actual MacBook, which my MacBook would be another piece of gear I have it's from 2012 it's pretty slow now and so I store everything on this so that doesn't take up storage on my computer the next couple things that I have um, are not very exciting but it's some part of my gear and it would be my CF cards so my mark IV does take an SD card but I don't I just stick to CF cards. I have a 16, a 16, and then I have a 32, which is in my camera right now. I really love the SanDisk Extreme Pros. This is an Extreme 3 compact flash, but I like the ones that are red and black. Now, I did buy two more when I was in Oregon recently, and just because of sales tax and stuff. And so these are the SanDisk Extremes. They're not the Extreme Pro, they're the gold, but this is all that they had. And these are 32. Now my Mark II um, is very, very slow with a 32 card. Just, I don't know why, it's just an older camera. I don't know. So hopefully with my Mark IV, a 32 will be no problem. Um, but usually with the Mark II, I just shoot with 16s. But hopefully the 32 will be great. So I have five cards and then you can get this case on Amazon and I need to buy another one for my other cards. But I really like this. It's shockproof and it works great. It was like $15, which $50 for a memory card holder. I was like, what? But I definitely really like it. It has a place where you can like hook it on to your cargo shorts or something 
something along those lines. I like it. Now my last thing that I have would be my prism. I have this from Amazon. Um, it is a six inch prism. Okay, so this is what the prism looks like. Nothing too exciting, but I definitely use it a lot in photo shoots. And I think that this guy was $10 on Amazon. I'll have a link down below. A thing to keep in mind with prisms is that you want it to be longer than your camera lens. So you don't want it to be a three inch. I would definitely recommend a six inch. I also use Adobe Lightroom 6 and I use Photoshop Elements. Now I do have Photoshop and I do know how to use it. It, but I've been using Photoshop elements for so long literally since like sixth grade or whenever it came out I've been using it and it's I'm just really familiar with it It does what I need it to do and so I definitely use Photoshop elements more than Photoshop If you guys want to see the camera bags that I use I have a full video on that They're my favorite bags and I definitely switch around so that's why I didn't feature just one in here I'll have that link down below in the description box if you're interested in bags But I don't really count that as equipment. That is all that I shoot with I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions you can leave them down in the description box below or you can join my photography education Facebook group built and bloom by Jessica Whitaker it's a creative community and you guys are always welcome there's a spot for everybody at the table if you want to join the Facebook group you can click the link in the description box below be sure you're subscribed to this channel that you're following me over on Instagram at Jessica Whitaker you can find me on Twitter at Jessica Lee 206 and snapchat is Jess Wells I will see you guys later thank you so much for watching bye